Okay, when I hear my little secret, whenever I put this on, I feel like, where's my Carlos or Jose or Rodrigo to save me and have a dance with me? Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I have when I wear it. But I love shooting with red. Like anything red looks always good on my skin tone and whatever cut it is, I can make it work. This is the same color, maybe same designer, same brand, whatever, but a different cut if you haven't noticed. This one is a little tighter. You can always adjust the top because it's adjustable, obviously. It looks cool. We shot with it so many times in the recent months. It is just a little tighter, so I have to watch whatever move I make, if something's gonna come out or not, because if you know, my nipples are very curious and they always want to be part of the action. Here's some picture from Bali. And look, you can make it tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser, tighter, looser. Well, we're gonna go for the middle way. It may look good. Here you see more pictures and the bottoms are actually a nice cut. It's not too small, not too big, just a little tighter on my body right now. But yeah, the design is just nice and we always get good results with this. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Yay! Here's the top with the little accent piece on the front. This is actually an old Victoria's Secret swimsuit. It's super, super tight on me right now. Ah. We did shoot beautiful pictures with this, but again, this is the low cut that just does not fit me very well. And maybe in the past I was able to make it work, but these days, nah, -uh -uh. the cut is just not something I would go for willingly. The bottoms are cool. I'm wearing those that have a little lace in the on the side. I don't know if you probably don't see it, but oh well. It's all adjustable. Again, if I don't have that strap around my neck, it can still work, but... Just for the safety of this video, I had to put it on. So don't have me survive for much longer. Here's a picture and let's go to the next one. You may remember this one from my previous video. We did a pinup shoot with this because the design fits the airplane theme. It has a section maps on it, as I mentioned in that video. So... If I see it up close, you can see that it actually has a little map, which is not going to take you anywhere, but it's supposed to be pretty truthful. So I'll take the word for it, but I would not take it instead of my GPS anywhere. And this one is actually reversible. So just like that, I can change it within and blink of an eye. These strings are just, you know, sometimes it's a hassle because there's so many of them and it gets tangled, but I think I prefer the pink side the white is nice but maybe not on my skin tone another one that kind of put a smile on my face because i have no idea how to wear it i know you're supposed to probably have it like this but it would fit either way it's somewhat like a regular top i don't know if i would call it swimsuit or if i would ever even swim in this but if you just buy the pool side like i did then it may work you know you just want to hang by the pool not show too much but still keep it more classy i think it's cool it's nice it just makes me feel like you know can fly away right now somewhere and dance away i wore this last time in malaysia it was fun we had a lot of fun shooting with these kind of swimsuit there's another one i had for a long time this design guys it's called halter top and I actually prefer it instead of those stringy bikinis because it gives more support and I just think it looks better on my body type personally. Black is always good but of course not very suitable for the summer. Here I have a little surprise for you. You may think that this leopard print swimsuit is gonna look middle part to just give some exaggeration to the decolled area or whatever you call it. Now, next one we have is this one-piece white swimsuit. And some people would not even call it swimsuit because it barely covers, but I still feel like it has way more fabric than most of the swimsuits I'm showing in this video. It fits me nicely. I do like one-pieces, even though, yeah, I struggle with most of them very much, but once they fit, I like wearing them a lot. This one has cute buckles whatever you call it it's like a little hardware that makes it so unique and this one actually don't burn me on the sun so they're nice i do have it in different color maybe i'll show you in a little bit 
here are some pictures so you can see how it fits and yes this is the black one i have it's the just the same old thing different color i haven't worn this one as much as i did the white one but it fits me the same way i do like the design i think it's just a little more unique than the other ones especially with the buckles in the front and i don't know i think it fits my body nicely I never even opened these, so I don't even know if they work. Because you can just put it on and off in another way. Let's go for some whitey white action that, again, does not fit my body anymore. But it's just fun to see it these days. Wow, this is crazy tight. And I know some of you would say, oh my god, that looks so hot, that looks so good. But try to wear it on my body right now, you would die. This is so uncomfortable. And even though it may look good from a certain angle, it's definitely not good for me. And yeah, I forgot the bottoms, so let's put the bottoms on. Now I'm thinking this is gonna look so washed out on the camera because it's not white anymore. Oh my god, I have to bleach it. Now this is some of my favorite little triangles. I'm being sarcastic here because this is again one of those pieces that is not comfortable at all. Because once you move you just have to watch every move you make. Because anything can happen, anything can slip out. And if you want to tan and not have tan lines or very minimal, why don't you just tan without any top or any bottom? I don't know what kind of a purpose this serves really. I would not wear it to the beach or anywhere for photo shoots it's nice we get some nice pictures but overall you know this just barely covers my top the bottoms were scrunchy but if you saw which is a cool fit but overall na 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 this one goes back with me so many years when i was a little emo kid yes i said emo emo google it if you don't know what it means anymore because yeah it's been a long time when it was popular look at these i'm putting my boobs in your face but i just wanted to show you the little hardware it has it has a little skulls which is hard to see in the video but i tried i really tried so hard so here you can see what it looked from the back and overall i still think it looks nice even after so many years i haven't worn it much and the camera may be doing a little weird effect because it has a little pattern. So maybe somebody's gonna hallucinate after this video. Hopefully not. Now let's go back to some one pieces, shall we? Like I mentioned earlier, some of them... Well, most of the one pieces give me a hard time. Because it's usually very short and I have a longer torso. So it usually doesn't fit. And this one is a good example of that. I have to keep on readjusting it. And even though the skull image is nice, the whole fabric is nice. And we did some beautiful pictures with it and commercial. It, you know, it's just not something I would wear. Even with pants, like some people may, may wear it. It just does not fit my body. Here's another white top that is too small and some people may say, oh, it looks so good on you. Oh my God, look at that cleavage. Yeah, da, 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 da. I can only imagine those comments, but yeah, it's one of those that you just want to take off right away because it just does not feel very comfortable. And these bottoms obviously don't match, but these are the single ones where I don't have a bra for. So I I'm just going to pair it with this color is cool, but again where am i gonna wear these things seriously this is actually one of my favorites but i don't know what the stains are from did i wash it badly or did i leave some glycerin over it or whatever this is a little hardware on it too i love these little accents and the decorations it makes it look just different and i like how it sparkles i wouldn't wear it just to go to the pool or anything but like a nice pool party and some cool place to wear it yeah this is nice i like the attention to the detail and making it shiny and this violet is actually my favorite color so why wouldn't i like it huh i just need to do something with those stains that looks really hideous what is that jeez this is some of the pictures i did this was for the bikers magazine oh wow another white one that's supposed to be white but it's not really white 
on the camera now when i'm looking at the video it doesn't look that bad but if you see it in person wow it all needs to be bleached these bottoms obviously don't match but again it's one of the singles bottoms that i didn't have a top for so i just put it on and you're supposed to make a bow out of this but i'm too lazy this is some of the pictures we did with this top it actually looked nice yeah pretty pictures but overall no it gives me no support and the white just ah not crazy about it look at this string that's supposed to like diy do it yourself i wore this in my last video that i made about houston you can see it there it's up on my channel look what happened Woo! Ta -da! yeah it makes it look a little better but i can't really make a bow out of it it's just like one little noodle <laughs> i don't know if it's even cute it should be like a cute bow so these people yeah they should put a little more fabric into their little noodle these bottoms fit okay i like the pattern it's like a country i don't know i imagine this country girl that wears shorts and just this top okay time out now for a little bit this is still the stuff we have to go through here i started not organizing but i just you know put it so i can count it better stuff like this is gonna go to the washer i'm gonna try to do the bleach see what happens all righty let me hydrate a little bit and the show continues as you can see i have another one of these old victoria's secret tops it's still a beautiful pattern i must admit i love it but i never also got the undies for it so i was always pairing it with whatever black bottoms i had these ones obviously i would never probably wear but they were in the bunch so i had to put them on they're crazy weird i don't know it's just ah uh, i hate these little board shorts okay here you can see it up close it's a cool design but you know it just doesn't fit so what am i gonna do with it i'm rather going bananas here here we're looking at the yellow color on the camera it kind of looks something between yellow and orange but i always thought this was yellow again granny's panties here <laughs> it does have this cool thing on the side but other than that they're so baggy i don't know we still got some nice pictures with it, but the bottom is just kind of funky. Maybe it's for a bit bigger butt or something. Something is here. Ah, how to take it off? Oh, it goes from the top. Look at that. Because I can see the pattern through it. Since these have been washed before, these things get kind of messed up. So the texture is not smooth anymore. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But yeah, they're so... 